feels nice when I'm able to make enough progress worthy of actually saving. It's like, yes, I didn't fuck this up. Anyway, let's go to France now for our third to final round and our fourth, I guess, if you count Monte Carlo, fourth tarmac rally of five. Also, no, I'm glad it does because I would accidentally save so many times Supra. Because I'm terrible at menu navigation. Anyways. Well, let's hopefully get some points this round. I'm hoping, uh... I'm hoping my slightly better competency at Tarmac will lead to a uh, victory here. Oh, but off. Good start, just a fucking yeet slide that somehow worked. With this game's physics and no assists. God, I love tarmac rallying. Oh, yep, that's, that's leaves. Slow down. Oh, I'm not making it. Yep, nope. There's no way the car was slowing down. Downhill braking over bumps, so I wasn't even making contact with the ground to give the friction for braking. What happened? She, I need to start braking earlier on downhill turns or downhill approaches. Because gravity. I almost feel like the physics for this game were, like, made for tarmac, but they didn't really test the gravel, like, the physics in gravel as well, in terms of car stability. Because, like, this feels nice. This feels real nice. This is definitely where this game is at its best, is on tarmac, excuse me. Shame that's only like a third or no, a quarter of the uh, season. Alright, good start to stage one. 5.4 seconds over Sebastian. I feel like that's, uh, that's supposed to be like a sponsor logo, Lantis, but they didn't have the uh, license to use it in the game, so they just covered it with question marks. Inverse thing to dirt rally physics. I guess so, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much Franco. So, early advantage over Sebastian. Solberg third. All three Skodas out of the points, unsurprisingly. Did uh did what's his face score points at Wales? I was too focused on how I was doing to uh look at where he ended up. I don't know. Anyways, stage two. Jimmer's t-shirt. I tried buying a t-shirt uh, from Jimmy's store before, but they declined my... or they, like, wouldn't accept my debit card. Which is really sucked, because I was wanting to get the... the, uh, the driver polo, whatever, that had... that you put, like, your name and uh, car number on. I really wanted it. But his store's like, nah, we're not taking your card, bitch. Why? We're just, we're just not. That's a wall, by the way. That is very much a wall. And uh, I just whacked the shit out of the wall. <laughs> oh, that's that gate's not open. Alright. Yeah, seven seconds. I can probably make that up. Although the engine damage is going to make it harder. I should slow down. <laughs> I made it. Not without giving my core driver a heart attack, but I made it. Oh shit, okay. That was a little tighter than I anticipated. Five right 
200. Fuck. Hello, understeer. How you doing? If I damage the engine, not the five steering. Right short into five left short, six left short. Caution, four right long tightens, 60. Six right. E. 100. Watch oh, there's out a Subaru out. out. Four right short, cut into six left. Caution, two left long. We never Probably get Sarah's in. Right into three right. the hairpin three that's listed as a two. Right. Water splash. To be fair, that water that water splash is there regardless of whether or not that pipe is burst or not. It's just there. They just made that part of the road wet just in case they decide to uh, have that happen. Oh god. Super roof. <laughs> Thing. Didn't Three execute it very well this time, but I remembered it. Alright, good recovery. Only lost a second. Nice. I remember that, Supra. Water splash. Actually, mud. Alright. Woo. So, damage control went well there, after uh, smashing into a building. Or, not even a building, just a wall. Oh, it was Atkinson, not Sarazen this time. Oh. Alright. So, still a four second advantage over Sebastian heading into the final stage. A good for me. Just repair the car and uh, move on. Oh, I had a snap piston. Well, good thing I didn't damage anything else, because uh, that takes all the repair time. But now it's good as new, so uh, let's finish the Rari France. Tour de course. Cloopa de boopa. The duality of me. Oh, shit. You notice how much, how significantly and quickly my mood changed once I actually once I actually did well at Wales. I went from turbo pissed to I'm doing good. I was going to say let's end this strong, but I guess we're going to end this in a tree. The radiator's damaged. Oh. That, uh, that snap piston didn't stay unsnapped for very long. It's a shame. Oh, well, it's the last stage. It doesn't matter. Good as new once we go to Spain. We're in time for Spain. Wait, wait, wait. Oh god. Tight bridge. Narrow. Nee. Plus I'm getting back all the time I lost from the uh, start of the stage. And then losing more. <laughs> Damn it. Just had to uh, start opening my big mouth. Woohoohoo! <laughs> Honestly, that's that's a similar reaction I have to almost hitting somebody or something. <laughs> I think the co-driver is actually me, just with a British accent. I 
I win. I actually beat Sebastian. Nice work. You did so well there. Woo! All right, good. Another good stage recovery. Ended up second. Co-driver's Santa Claus. <laughs> Everything's fine. Oh, hey, Martin won that stage. Nice. But I'll beat the boy and I win the rally and I tied us in the championship. <laughs> Bam. So there's that. Hey, Martin's on the podium. Beat Solberg. Pass Solberg with that stage win. Cool. Yanni Postin tried and failed. Oh well. You would be correct, uh, Franco. Crashes twice. You did a good job. All right. All right. So, with that, we are tied with two rounds to go. 96 to 96. Solberg is 14 behind, so he's pretty much out of the picture, especially since we've been consistently finishing 1-2. And yeah, Postin still with a goose egg in the points. Getting close between Pojo and Citroen at the top of the manufacturer standings, but we've... What's that, a 26-point gap over Subaru? So third place is solidified, at least, for manufacturers. All right. To Spain. Spain.